I have to say that Kevin did not go into Miss International Queen to become an activist or to become a community leader. Kevin Balogun just wanted to win a crown and look pretty. And I think we should give her that. That is what she wants to be. Let's let her be the pretty girl who won the crown. She is not a representative of our community because she always put her foot in it. May nagtanong sa akin, are you gay? Yes, I am and I'm very proud. So you never pretend you're a girl? No, no, never. Okay. Because I'm not one. Okay. And there's like, may lang ng isang love from a real man that it will last forever. Because we must bear to everybody's mind that uh, same sex relationship which only be includes as uh, friends that last forever. Galing. Now, Deb, you had a boyfriend? Of course, yes. Okay, a long-term boyfriend? Um, yes. Okay. And is it difficult? I mean, when, I mean, of course, when you have a, a gay couple out, I mean, that's, I mean, people are used to that. When you have a, a man and then a transgender yes, out, yes. I mean. Actually, I have a boyfriend for almost two years before. Hindi naman siya ganun kahirap kasi may boyfriend except me for being what I am because I also act as a woman. I talk as a woman and I want to be treated as a woman. Mm -hmm. Siguro kung nila ka matanggap ng boyfriend, hindi ko na problema yun. Problema niya na yun. Pero, okay. honestly, I'm very blessed na tinanggap niya ako kung ano man ako. Uh -uh. Now, I'm just curious. When you write your name, I mean, it's Kevin Balot, do, but do you write Miss or Mr.? Um, actually, yun yung pinaka number one issue sa Thailand kasi di ba? I Parang so. nabasa ko sa isang vlog na hindi talaga pwedeng maging Miss ang Mr. Siguro, pag sinusulot ko yung name ko, just Kevin Balat na lang. Wala but what do you check? You have to check a box. Um, Mr. Paren siya. Mr. Paren. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, ako, I find it odd calling you Mr. <laughs> or referring to you as he. Yeah. You know what I mean? After yeah, looking yeah. at you, you are such a she. <laughs> so you don't want to change, you know you can change your name. Yes, I can change my name, pero... Even in the Philippines? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pero wag na lang siguro. Parang, Kevin was a perfect name for my personality. <laughs> Uncle and this is me. Oh, oh. Now, which restroom do you go to? Um, mostly sa mga malls. I go to female one. Already? Because yeah. Because I don't pee in standing. <laughs> uh, you don't pee standing? Yes. Well. But I also think if you enter a male restroom looking like that, I think the men will like freak oh, out. What is that. this? If I find a woman in the, in the restroom, so you no. enter already a female yeah, restroom. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure no, fem no woman ever thought that I'm e a Exactly. Gender. There's been a lot of conversations then if... <laughs> Trans women should be part of traditional traditional pageants. Right. Ano yung, yeah, they allow trans women. So, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, we trans women always ask for equality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, us transgender women joining sa mga Miss Universe is not equality anymore. So, hindi ako, hindi ako sa ngayon, sa ganun bagay. Kasi we have our own pageant eh. We have the Miss International so I wanted to do a show called Educating Kevin where I teach Kevin Ballot about what it means to be transgender and why her archaic and regressive views are damaging for the LGBTIQ community in the Philippines. But she did not respond to my post, so I would continue with the show anyway because I have too many Kevins on my Facebook page who are always attacking me when I proclaim my support for Angela Ponce for Miss Universe inclusion. I'm sorry, but these people who call themselves gay because there is a differentiation between gay or homosexuality and transgender because transgender is an identity and homosexuality is a sexuality gender identity and sexuality are two different things so you people are conflating the two and this is why you all are proud to be competing in Miss gay pageants and this is why all these pageant organizers in the philippines need to stop calling trans pageantry miss gay because trans women are not gay Gay is a sexuality. Yes, some trans women can be gay, meaning they like other women. Perhaps they're lesbians, but does it make them gay? Their identity is not gay. Their identity is female. They are women. Just because you can't bring yourself 
to agree that trans women are women, you label them gay. And most of you who use this term, even Kevin Bala herself have used it on national television when she was being uh, interviewed by Karen. She goes, oh, um, because I am a gay, I was like, oh, girl, you should be educating the masses about LGBT plights and LGBTQ issues. But you're sitting down there saying the same thing that our haters are saying, saying that we're asking for too much question on Quinton with Pierre Wisberg and all the other girls. It makes me very sad because you have this great, amazing platform and opportunity for you to educate people about what it means to be transgender and you squandered it by saying rubbish. You didn't even talk much, you were just quiet. And it makes me sad because we have so many revolutionary trans fighters in the world that they could have put on that show during the Pride show for them to educate the community, but it didn't. And it makes me sad because a great opportunity was lost because she did, does not know what being transgender is. Trans women are women, simple. That's it, no explanation, no compromise. Trans women are women. And for those of you who tell me that I'm not valid, or rather trans women are not valid, and Angela Ponce is not valid because she doesn't have a womb, you are an idiot. Get an education. Go on Google. Google is your friend. Go and learn about what it means to be transgender. There are lots of cisgender women who cannot give birth. There are lots of cisgender women who were born without womb. Would you say those cisgender women are not women? Are you going to invalidate their womanhood because they are not able to bear their own children? There is a syndrome called MRKH syndrome. Google it. MRKH. Meyer Rokitansky Kusterhauser syndrome. Google it. Is that disorder where cisgender women are born without womb, where they cannot give birth to children? Human biology is very complex. It's not so straightforward. You need to learn about human biology. And saying that, oh, patriarchy taught me that women have to be petite, women have to be thin, women have to be pale for them to be beautiful. Women have to know their place and women should not ask for too much. Women should not break the glass ceiling and aim for the universe. Women should be quiet and should be meek. And when told to do something, they should do it without complaints. Therefore, should not have a voice and should not be smart. Women should be stupid and just sit down there and say nothing. Because when you're a woman and you speak out, you become an angry black woman. I've been called that so many times by my own LGBT people. I've only said it. Stupidity is not an option in 2020. We are not in 1920. Google is your friend. There are lots of books you can read. Study and learn about what it means to be LGBTQ community. Do not join Miss Gay Pageants because Miss Gay Pageants are not validating your identity. You are forgetting that many Filipino girls do not have the same privilege as Kevin Ballot. Kevin Ballot has always been a pretty girl right from the beginning. She had about 20,000 followers before she joined Miss International Queen. So we need to put things into perspective here. Kevin Ballot was revered by a lot of people when she was competing in the barangay pageants. She was already a semi-celebrity before she went to Miss International Queen. And I told my friends that Kevin Ballot is going to win Miss International Queen because that is exactly what they like. Tiffany Show loves girls who are already famous and Tiffany Show girls love girls who have a huge following and I know that Kevin Ballard has that looks that they like. It doesn't matter if Kevin Ballard has the experience of what trans women go through or education of what trans women go through because that is irrelevant to Tiffany's show. So all I'm going to say is that Kevin Ballard does not speak for the entire LGBTQ community because what she is doing is negating the equality that have been they have been fighting for for so many years for now and she's saying these things and then all these people who hate LGBT people are supporting her because they are using the Trojan horse uh, uh, strategy to attack us using one of our own to, to, to criticize us and therefore use her as, as, as a form of attack to the LGBT community but you people don't know that you're supporting what Kevin Ballard and you're also using that same thing that our haters are using to discriminate against your own. 
if instead of supporting Angela Ponce, you're like, oh, she's a man, she's a oh, blah, blah. And you're also a trans woman. So therefore, you're a man in a dress then. Are you happy with your identity card that says you're, you're male? You're happy that with the assigned name that your parents have given you as a male because you feel that you are never going to be a woman. So therefore, there's no point for you to take that steps to becoming your true self because you feel that you will never be a woman. You've given up. Because the law is against you, the society against you, and the religion is against you. But I'm sorry, you, you should never limit yourself to just the ceiling of your property. You need to aim for the skies, aim higher than the glass ceiling, break it and aim higher. You deserve more, you can do better. The reason why Kevin Ballard, I believe, perhaps I'm wrong, but the reason why I believe that she is saying all these things is because she feels that when another trans woman is given that chance to be Miss Universe and she wins Miss Universe, it would negate Kevin's title of Miss International Queen, which I think is ridiculous. There is space for beauty to be inclusive of all. It doesn't matter if the person's title is bigger than yours, you're still the same. We're all the same sisters. So we need to be um, understanding and like you said, respectful of all, then you should respect the trans women who are telling you that there are women. Just because you don't understand it doesn't make, make it wrong. So we need to fight for Soji Bill to be passed and we also need for Gender Recognition Bill to be passed in the Philippines because I was in the Philippines and I saw it with my own eyes how my trans sisters are heavily discriminated against. They are called sars and misters and refused entry into venues but they will let me in because my passport says female. That is what trans women go through but because you're a celebrity and you're very well known it doesn't mean that uh, all other trans women have the same privileges that you have for example looking good looking petite and pale and having the opportunities that you have for example whenever there is a, a community organization or for example if the media or cisgender organization the big companies want someone to represent the LGBTQ community, they will go to Kevin Ballard because Kevin Ballard has won Miss International Queen. But it doesn't mean that Kevin Ballard is truly the representative of what we're fighting for as a community. I have to say that Kevin did not go into Miss International Queen to become an activist or to become a community leader. Kevin Ballard just wanted to win a crown and look pretty. And I think we should give her that. That is what she wants to be. Let's let her be the pretty girl who won the crown she is not a representative of our community because she always put her foot in it whenever she comes up with certain things either calling herself i'm a gay and now she's saying we're asking too much just because she's afraid that another trans woman may achieve more than her on a cisgender space anybody who compares oh because transgender women should be uh, relegated into trans pageantry only then uh, you're not using your brain because trans pageantry does not have the same prominence as miss universe it does not have the same prominence as miss world trans pageantry does not change lives as much as miss world and miss universe does for example angela ponce is just being on that stage in miss universe she's achieved so much in her life she has huge followings and she's done so much. Her life is completely changed. She became a pioneer. So many things are happening for her. And that is what will happen if another trans woman go on Miss Universe stage. And that is why we're fighting for that opportunity that all trans women should be included in all female-only spaces instead of being segregated and discriminated against. And what pisses me off even more is that the stupid trans women who don't use their own brain and... <laughs> shooting themselves in the foot by saying oh you know Kevin Ballard is right we shouldn't be included yes please don't include me because you know I'm not a woman I'm a I'm a gay <laughs> good for you but I am a woman so therefore I should be included you're not trans then if you call yourself gay then perhaps you're gay so don't don't speak for me and don't speak for other trans legitimate trans women in the Philippines who are fighting for equality who are on the street with placard constantly calling for gender recognition law so excuse me just keep quiet don't speak for us it's not you said it's not our place it's not your place to speak for us either so keep quiet and keep it moving let those of us who are real trans women speak for the community my plea and 
is to big LGBT, uh, big LGBT community, please use girls who are smart and girls who can speak for the community. Girls who will not um, destroy the hard work that the LGBTQ activists and the grassroots fighters, warriors who are fighting for equality for Soji Bill to be passed in, 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 in the Philippines. Because you keep giving microphone to girls who are not smart and they will go on this uh, on, on big massive platform and be saying things that are very um, uh, uh, transphobic and also homophobic. So for those of you who use patriarchy to uh, judge people, I'm sorry, but you're using a system that is constantly being used to discriminate against Asian people, black people, and people who are in the LGBT community. They use that same patriarchy to judge you and you're using it to judge trans people. And you gay men judging trans people or trans people who are not clued up on what it means to be transgender are also using the same patriarchy against their own. It's just ridiculous. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Why are you talking like that? As if you've never read a book in your life. Please get a book and read it. That's all I'm going to say right now. Read that book and read it so well until you understand it. If you have any questions or if you don't understand it, contact me. I'll gladly educate you. I'm here. That's why I'm here. Come to me. I'll gladly educate you anytime. You can scream and bitch and shout and do whatever you like about trans women and all women. You're just wasting your time because trans women are included in Miss Universe because Miss Universe is saying loudly and proudly that trans women are women and they are going to continue celebrating trans women. So <laughs> you're just wasting your time because that legacy has already been created. History has been made by Angela Ponce and that is to show you that trans women are women and they are included on Miss Universe stage whether you, you, yes, you, Kevin, whether you like it or not, trans women are women.